Now, good morning and welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 22. We're in the Garden of Gethsemane. The mob is there. They're taking Jesus away. We're at verses 63 to 65. Let's read it out. Now, the men who held Jesus mocked him and beat him. And having blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is the one who struck you? And many other things they blasphemously spoke against him. So Jesus has been arrested. They've hauled him away, been questioned for the night, and uh, now they are uh, beating him and torturing him and mistreating him. And here you see the wrath of devils, the wrath of the fallen angels, as they are uh, working through their agents, fallen men, and they are beating him and mocking him. And of course, what this is, is a scheme. It's a demonic scheme that if we can, if we can bring enough physical torture upon Jesus if he'll just bend, if he'll just break, if he'll just give up and, and, and bail out of the salvation, his plan to save people, if he'll bail out of the salvation plan here at the last moment, we'll still win this thing. And uh, of course, Jesus isn't going to do it. Instead, he absorbs every blow. Instead, he stays faithful and true. Instead, he, he's made a decision. He's going all the way through. He is going all the way to the cross, and he's going to breathe his last without failing. He's going to breathe his last without sinning. He's going to die for these and look who he's dying for. He's dying for not only those that loved him and appreciated him, he's dying for everybody who's around there striking him, beating him, mocking him, spitting on him, mistreating him, and torturing him. He's dying for all them, too, because if any of those people turn, they'll be able to receive his gift of forgiveness, and they'll be able to live for eternity in a selfless, unselfish world. And so, so he God has a place for these mockers, these torturers. God has a place for the torturers in his kingdom, if they'll but turn to him. And God has a place for you and I in his kingdom, if we turn to him and we just keep turning back and turn to Jesus all the time. Oh, friend, may we have uh, receive all that beautiful mercy, because without his mercy, we, we, we won't be there. But with his mercy we can become more and more like him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking into your word this day, we recognize that Jesus died even for those uh, doing him the utmost criminal torture and disfiguring him and laughing and treating him uh, awfully. And yet, Lord, if any of those people will turn, you will save them. Help us, Lord, to be turned fully towards you. Help us not to be dissuaded by pain the most extreme pain, but help us to serve Jesus in spite of these things. And those moments will pass, and one day soon we'll be in the kingdom. Bless us and help us to be strong, Lord, in Jesus' name, strong in your might. Amen. Well, we're not strong in our own might, but through the strength of God, we can endure all things for Jesus who endured all things for us. May his blessings be with you this day.